Have you seen the Have you seen the lights, Nala? You know where the lights are? No. Okay. Oh, I think. Oh, here. Here they are. Oh no! One of my lights is broken. How did it? It didn't make the move. So down a lot. I have to order another one. I got one good light that works. I got one good light that works. Yeah. Oh, this lighting looks like a prison photo. I don't even know what that means, but um, hi, it's me, Marconi, and today I just wanted to say that um, I had some thoughts about Portland and Chicago and the changes in my life, and I wanted to address them because some of the comments about my um, excitement for Chicago have led me to this video. Some of the comments have been like, hey, do you even miss Portland at all? And to that I have to say, first of all, I've been here for about four weeks. So of course it's life changing and I'm in the third largest city in the United States. And it's pretty crazily overwhelming and I am sharing my life just like I always have on my vlogs and I don't feel bad because this is what's happening in my life. I spent a long time in Portland and I love it so much. Portland uh, made me uh, who I am. It really did. I mean, it gave me, um, I don't know how to describe it other than, you know, everything I learned about si being in a city was from Portland because before that I lived in Eugene, Oregon. And Portland was the biggest city I'd ever lived in and for the longest. And Chicago is has a lot of aspects that remind me of Portland and uh, many of them are, are the love that people have for this city and the kindness and the people are just really nice here and Portland has those aspects too and yes I was on the radio for a long time off and on in Portland if anyone ever questions my love for Portland how many times I've chosen Portland over other cities I can't it's countless times and how many times I've come back to the city of Portland only to find myself unemployed. So I chose coming to Chicago in a time when I didn't think I was going to go back to radio and this radio station and company kind of changed my thoughts and my, my way of thinking because it's such an awesome city and a great opportunity for me. The radio station I work for is it's the kind of music that I like to listen to if I'm listening to radio and it's awesome and all the people there are great so I'm sharing you with you these things because that's the way I am I, I share my life and how I feel and so when people ask me do you miss Portland at all of course I am here for such a short time I haven't gotten to the point where I'm missing things because I'll be honest in my life I always look forward back when people you know will message me and say hey do you have any uh, audio of this thing you did five six years ago I might but it's in an archive somewhere and it's not that I don't appreciate that history but I'm ever evolving in all the things that I do whether it's interneting uh, youtubery radio uh, I just always am looking forward the same with music I always like what's next and what's now um, a lot of people have nostalgia for the past and uh, there's a little bit that, of that with me, but mostly I'm really into the future of technology, what's happening, what's going on, uh, with an appreciation for the past. But that's the thing. I learned so much from Portland that taught me everything I needed to know to be prepared for a city like Chicago. Here in Chicago, it's a different uh, universe, but it's still the same in so many ways. So. Anybody, to, I don't really feel that you have to put a negative slant on something in order for something positive in your life. And doesn't mean that I don't love Portland. Just because you love one thing doesn't mean you don't have affection and uh, hold a special place in your heart for something else. Um, a lot of times in life, you might have a relationship and you move on to the next relationship. But you take what you learned from the past and apply that to your future and open yourself to more opportunity. 
I learned so much about myself, about who I am, and it helped me learn that um, I need to open myself to new opportunities and be accepting of things outside of a city like Portland. So here I am in Chicago doing radio. It's a dream and I love it. And I hope that more of you will listen to my station and watch my videos because I make a new one every single day to keep you updated with Chicago adventure. And if you come to Chicago, make sure and let me know whether it's uh, messaging me on any of my social medias. Scented candles, burn those. Uh, I'll come, I, I love the, anything that smells like cookie dough. Do things smell like cookie dough? I, I don't know. But I just, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another glorious episode. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for your support all the many years in Portland. And I hope if you're in Portland that you'll keep watching and keep supporting because I got here because of you. And my new Chicago friends, thank you for welcoming me. Welcoming me. Thank you for welcoming. Thank you for welcoming me. I may have had a stroke during this video. I apologize. But I will be back tomorrow with another glorious episode. Ta-ta for now.